Welcome to Tidworth Freeride, home of some of the most amazing trails in the south of the country. We're here today to look at an aspect of the terrain that we haven't really covered too much of. You've probably experienced it yourself, you've probably felt some of its effects before in your riding and here today we're going to look at smoothing that out. We're not talking about going up or going down, more going sideways. This issue we're going to look at how to deal with cambers. So your riders today, Neil and Ollie, show you some tricks, get your riding fast and smooth and just take the pressure off when the sideways slope is in front of you. A lot of trail centres, the camber only works for you. Those berms pushing you around, nice fluid, fluid corners, making things easy. But in, back in the old school, back in the old days, there was a lot more of the cross camber, the adverse camber, which isn't there to help, maybe there to hinder, but with the right skills, right technique, you won't find it a problem anymore. So to start with, we're going to look at a fairly simple section where the camber's not too exaggerated, but just enough visually as people come out of this berm to give them something to think about. The more time you spend deciding on high line, low line, the more likely you are to end up on this low line, which is a slower line when it comes to getting through the next section. So you're pushing the problem down the trail. As you're coming out of that berm, we're looking at taking a look up the high line and through the section to the exit point and committing early. What we're going to see as the boys come through is they're going to start trying to find that grip. And now we're playing on a bit that isn't too dramatic. So if you haven't got the confidence uh, high yet, we can start to build that confidence on a piece of terrain that's not going to be too punishing, as always. A little bit in the stretch zone, but not out of that stretch zone, where you can start to hone your skills before applying them where it really matters. Key things here are going to be finding that grip. To find that grip, there are numerous things we can apply. Your body position is going to be important. Your footwork is going to be important. And also we need to start thinking about entry section and exit and how we apply that speed control to accelerate through the section rather than trying to slow the bike down. You'll see as Neil and Ollie come through here, we start to get a little bit of that old magic foot we've talked about before. Outside foot's going to be dropping, the bike's going to be leaning into the hill slightly, keeping that weight over the tyres. And as we just think about coming across the section, a little bit of hip twist, rolling your weight onto your big toe pad, just twist those hips back up the hill with the bike below you, the tyre line below you, but the bike leaning into the hill gives us a nice contact point with the tyre, keeps us nice and high, finds that traction and allows you to ride on slopes that you think you might ordinarily slip down, you can hold that line you're looking for. So the section itself through here isn't actually overly cambered, it's quite a mellow slope, cross slope on here. The, the issue really for probably novice and intermediates and people that are riding this trail for the first time is the entry point where we've got a little bit of camber on the entry and also the eyes might hook up on these visual performance cues. There's a plethora of routes here. And those, that little camber on the way in and the visuals here pushing people down lower. As I said, that's pushing the problem down the trail because we've got a sharper turn coming out then and a bit more to do on the exit point. So really, as we come across the camber here, commit early on the way out the berm, look up and through and actually just bounce your eyes up off these performance cues visually if, if you are struggling a little bit. Popping them back up to and looking through to the exit point is going to set your body position nicely and give you enough momentum to hold that line. 